Here are five favorite workshop items for week 70 in no particular order. First up is the Wings of the Obelisk for Chen, created by Vlad the Implier and Li Lu. It comes with six items, including a weapon, shoulders, head, arms, and a new mount with its own set of armor. Well, it's been a while since Chen has been featured, and this is in fact the second set for him created by Vlad. I think the armor pieces are very vibrant, and they match the lighter color of the mount, which is also excellent. Second is the Last King of Nowhere set for Juggernaut, created by Farfarer. It comes with five items, including a mask, back piece, robes, bracer, and weapon. Add this to the list of pretty cool jug sets we've seen here on the Weekly Workshop. I like the whole Emperor theme, though I wish that these jug sets would include a healing ward as there are a lot of opportunities with that. Third, we have the Burning Anti-Mage set, created by TV Dotto, Caesar San Pedro, and Only the Strong Survive. It comes with six items, including some armor, arms, belt, head, weapon, and offhand weapon. I've been waiting for a set that closely resembles its Dota 1 counterpart, and here we have it for Anti-Mage. I'm not sure if Valve cares about this or not, but I personally love the nostalgia factor here. Next is the very controversial IX Mike 88's Crystal Mustache set for Crystal Maiden, created by Bronto Thunder, Danny Dem, and IX Mike himself. It comes with five items, including a cape, shoulders, arm piece, hair, and a staff aptly named the Mustaff. While I call this controversial and I guess adding fake mustaches to Crystal Maiden might have that effect on people. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. The fact that this set was made for the thing that IX Mike is so famous for, and the fact that it's on a woman character is pretty impressive. This was pretty ballsy, and although a lot of people seem to be hating on it, I think it was well executed. Last but not least is the Phantom Reaper set for PA, created by TV Dotto, who makes his second appearance in this week's episode. It comes with five items, including a belt, cape, head, shoulders, and scythe. This very awesome PA set is apparently in tribute to Loda, one of the best PA players to ever grace us with their presence. It's great to see TV Dotto branching out as he typically works on couriers. This set is extremely unique as PA is not only given a scythe, but eight new animations. This is very well done and we're definitely looking forward to its eventual release to the Dota 2 store.